Hello everyone, this is the Crimson Cure, welcoming you to the Crimson Tower, a place where we keep a feminine foot on the neck of the gynocracy, feminism, and black male misandry. So go ahead, pull up a chair, stay a while, and listen. For over two decades, we focused on one philosophy, the 10 life values, a system that helps us examine our lives, our vision, our leadership. Our products and our services are exclusively for men, all men. The ones who teach and mentor our kids, maintain our livestock and grow our food, make and repair our products, saves us from catastrophe and protect our nation. The 10 life values are woven into every product and service we create. Because at the end of the day, our vision is to see all men from every community equipped with the appropriate processes and the necessary tools to be excellent fathers and the best version of themselves they can be. Crimson Ice and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about a very popular subject in this space, the bait and switch. Now, for those of you who don't know, the bait and switch is essentially a woman who acts as if she is all that you needed her to be, wanted her to be. You know, she kind of fakes it long enough for you to drop your guard and then be with her or marry her or something like that. And then at some point down the line, she switches and becomes this kind of other person that starts doing things to you. Uh, You don't recognize her. She's not the same woman that you met and fell in love with. So today what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into what the bait and switch actually is because it ties into the things that I've been talking about on this channel for the past week. The bait and switch is basically a woman who is attempting to bypass a man's vetting process. Specifically when it comes to threat, because that's the bait and switch, the threat. And she's faking being worthy of time toll and faking that her trouble isn't much and faking that her threat isn't much to make the man drop his guard. Okay. When, if, if she's successful in this, she's going to go into the relationship with multiple threats still on the table that he is unaware of because she was able to get him to bypass the proper vetting process, okay? So that's basically, in a nutshell, what the bait and switch is. So what I'll do is, I'll start off with the question, guys, do you want to avoid the trap and the pitfall of the bait and switch? If the answer is yes, then here's what's going on. The truth of the matter is she was always that woman that she quote unquote switched to. She was always her. She was never any other woman. She was that woman before. She just managed to finesse. And I just want to put you guys up on game at this point. Because as things start to or continue to to unfold during this um pandemic that we're going to, and then the fallout of it, these women are going to become more and more cunning, or at least they're going to try to become more and more cunning to get you to drop your guard during the vetting process, because she's going to have to get you to drop your guard during the vetting process, because if she can't get you to do that, then she can't do the whole bait and switch thing. So the key for you guys 
is to take your time here. Take your time in the vetting process. Don't let her finesse you. Don't let her try to get you in the bed real quick and cloud your mind. Don't let her try to fake her femininity with you. She's just so prim. She's just so proper. She's just so this and that. Okay. Here's how you avoid the bait and switch. When you use the 4T vetting process, you're taking, not only are you spending time to get to know her, you're giving her time to either hang herself or redeem herself with this rope. And you're also taking time. You're taking your time. You're not in any hurry to do one thing or another, okay? You're not in any hurry about this. You are basically saying, okay, I know that I want to be with her maybe, but let me not rush into things because guys, what you have to remember is you're the gatekeeper of the relationship. She doesn't have any say when you're in or when you're really out of a relationship, especially she doesn't have any say when you're in one. She may think she has say when you're in one, but she doesn't. This is your this is your gatekeep. This is your wheelhouse. This is something that men control. Men control whether or not women are in relationships with them. Okay? Because women can't make men get married. Women can't make men commit. Women can't make men say that they're, you know what I'm saying, her man and all this type of stuff. If that's not what he's trying to be and that's not what he's trying to do. So that the power is with you, brothers. The power is with you. To take your time, spend time and give her time. Time is very important. Because time has a tendency to reveal the truth. Over time, you'll see her behavior in various situations. Once you're in the midst of taking some time, spending some time, and giving her some time, basically you kind of giving her enough rope, like, like the old saying, go to hang yourself and redeem yourself. So you're trying to see what she does with this time, okay? Then don't be so quick to start dealing with the toll in terms of finances, giving her things, giving her money, paying stuff, paying bills, paying, you know, here and there, you just paying, paying, paying. Every time you look around, you paying, paying, paying. Okay. You want to watch that because the woman who is thinking about the bait and switch will try to see you as a mark. Or she'll try to set you up to be her mark. She got a sucker. And when you see a sucker, you lick a sucker. Okay? You lick them. So that's what she's doing. Oh, I got me a sucker. He'll do this and he'll do that. All I got to do is ask real nice or cry or do some other thing. And, you know, go into some type of theatrics. And then he'll give me what I want out of him. Okay? So don't be super fast to dole out a lot of toll, just a lot of money. Do that at your discretion and do that only in the capacity that makes you comfortable. The third thing is you're dealing with the trouble. This is where things get tricky with a woman that's dealing with bait and switch because trouble and threat are tied together. Because the trouble is the trouble she comes with. What's going on in her personal life? How many problems does she have for you to solve? Okay. If she had a mountain of problems and she looking for you to solve those problems, then this is too much. This is too much. Um, the real crafty ones will try to hide the trouble. So you'll never meet her family. You'll never see any of her family members. You'll never see really any of her friends. You'll never really know exactly where this woman is coming from, what she learned, what she was taught, how she deals with different situations, 
what she thinks about certain situations, how she thinks about relationships, what she thinks about men, how she has carried men in the past. She if a woman that don't never tell you nothing about her family or it's always some real superficial stuff It's either super superficial or it's always a woe is me story. This woman potentially has a lot of trouble going on unless you can see it for yourself that she doesn't have this kind of trouble going on. Like she's not hiding her what her relationships is with her family. Like she's not telling you one thing and then you come to realize it's another. Or you can't match her words with her actions when it comes to, okay, well, you said you was on your family, you can't see them. Or I can't ever see this interaction that you have, this wonderful relationship that you have with your parents or your sisters or your cousins or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? If you can't really match her, her words with her actions, that's a real flag. And finally, the most important part of the bait and switch is the threat. Fellas, you got to... You have to take your very careful time here to assess her threats. What's the threats? The threats, and I did a video that you can check out right here. The threats are any one of or any number of these. When we take a look at this chart, it says the threat of black women, black women, the gynocrats. We're talking about the gynocrats who side with feminism, support the threat narrative of black men. And at the very bottom, you see by utilizing the original threat narrative since slavery, black women can quote unquote control black men and their values. Because she's trying to devalue you by these threats. And when we say threats, she's one or more of these. And as you can see, it's the 10 life values. She's threatening you in one or more of these areas. And like I said, if you checked out the video I pointed to just a minute ago, I go through these in detail so that you can understand not only what the nature of the threat is, but how it presents itself in her behavior, her personality. Okay. So this is actually the most important because a woman who is engaged in the bait and switch she will never take all of those threats off the table. She will never take them off, ever. No gynocrat in the history of ever has ever taken all the threats off the table. Even if it's just one, she's going to keep them on there. And this is the key that I would like my brothers to understand. Now, you know, this is just my feminine insight that I'm using and my counsel, not my instruction for my brethren, okay? Because I want to see you succeed. For those of you who want to get into relationships, there are ways to do it, but it just takes, in this day and age, it takes a careful thing, okay? Because you really have to take, she really has to take those threats off the table. She has to do it. She has to do it. She cannot be allowed to keep a threat because any woman that keeps a threat on the table plans to use the threat at some point in time. And that's the damage and the danger of the bait and switch. Just like when we think back to Dr. Dre Nicole, now she said he got a prenup and then she made him uh, tear it up. Like she convinced him to get rid of the prenup. That was her putting a threat back on the table. He had attempted to take it off with the prenup. After the marriage, she convinces him in some way, somehow, oh, this is according to her. So I don't know whether that's true or not. But from what she say, she was able to convince him to get rid of the prenup that she signed that he had. That was her putting a threat back on the table. Now, 24 years later, she used it. They've been married, what, 24 years. Now that it's time for her to use that threat, she used it. Every gynocrat that keep a threat on the table intends to use that threat. There is no doubt about it. She is going to use it. Only a lioness, only a true feminine woman will take 
all the threats off the table and she will not attempt to put them back in after the fact, after you've gotten into a marriage or a relationship with her, okay? She's not only going to remove the threat, she's going to try to become an asset, okay? An asset, and if you want to know about going into detail about the feminine asset, you can check that out right here, okay? Because I go into that. So that's basically how you can avoid the bait and switch. It just takes more time and more careful consideration. Don't let her bat her eyes and smile and, you know, show you, you know, her big button. You know, hey, never trust a big button to smile. BBD had it. That girl is poison. You can't trust that. You can't trust it. You cannot trust, you know, her little soft voice, you know, that that soft hyena cackle. You can't trust that. Trust what your eyes see. Trust whether or not you can make those actions match those words. Because whatever she says she about, you have to examine whether or not she's about that. And do this unapologetically, unapologetically. Most hyenas won't be able to withstand a proper vetting process, especially when it gets to the threat. Because even if she's able to finesse time, toll, and trouble, the threat she can't hide. Because just for example, and I've given this example before, you get a woman, she's everything you want her to be. You know, she ain't perfect, no, but nobody is. And you're like, man, she's got way more pros than she's got cons. Let me go ahead and get into a relationship. Let's say you got a few dollars. Let's say you want her to sign a prenup because that's the last threat that you're trying to remove off the table. If she get the whining and crying and acting like it's a whole big problem for her to do that, a threat. This one is going to put pull the bait and switch at some point. She's going to do it. Because she's a gyno crap. She's always been a gyno crap from the beginning. She was just soft spoken. She was just well, she was just good at finessing it. She was just good at covering it up. You know, her back feet scoop a little dirt and she stopped for you when you turn around and look, she stopped. So you don't see the dirt. You don't see the back feet working and kicking dirt. You see what I'm saying? So these are the things that I would like my brothers to look out for. And yes, to those to those hyenas who want to do the bait and switch, yes, I am exposing you because over here at the Crimson Cure channel, we are feminine red pill men and we are here for the support of our brothers. And we don't want to see them going down, swirling down, be, be off the backs of you, the likes of you all coming into his life, turning it upside down, and then leaving with a smile on your face and absconding with the bag and all this other type of stuff that you're doing. So we definitely are shining a light on these things. Take your time with assessing these threats because this is where the bait and switch happens. This is the source of it, and this is the result of it, and this is the danger of it. That's where it is. And that's why she does it. Because she never intends on getting into a relationship with you where she can't pull a threat. Real red pill feminine women always take the threats off the table. Even if they are subconscious, if you bring it to her, she'll take it off. But more than likely, you probably not going to have to overtly bring it to her she'll just start taking threats off the table because she wants to be with you she wants you to be with her and she wants you to love her and she wants you to you know what i'm saying she wants the commitment and things of that nature so she's going to start taking these threats off the table because she understands that that is what you want and that's what you need and that's the only way that the relationship can really move forward positively and one other thing, a woman must always, always prove worthy of these four things. She must always prove worthy of time, told, trouble, and threat. 
before the relationship and at some checkpoints of your, you know what I'm saying, discretion during the relationship. Always vet her. Always vet her. Because a woman always has to stay. She has to always stay worthy. She must always be worthy. Because if you're going to consistently give her the four P's, then she got to consistently be worthy of them by passing the vetting process at any point in time. And that's just facts. That's just facts. So all of that, all of the counsel and advice that I have for brothers is just be careful. Just take your time. Be mindful and, and vigilant now more than ever because economic hard times are upon a lot of these ladies and they are trying their hardest to get some guy to do what they need him to do with as minimal effort as she can possibly put forward. If she got a fake like she a woman, that's what she'll do, but she's going to try to get away with this with minimal effort because as soon as things get back the way she wants them to be without dealing with you in that capacity, that's what she's going to do. So, so, you know, they're going to get real sincere about how much they care about you and they always like you, yada, yada, yada. Knock it off. Okay, so that's what you can tell her. Knock it off because I see what kind of threat you are. Now you're equipped with the understanding of what those threats are and you're able to assess it properly so that you can understand, no, this one doesn't want to take threats off the table. If I get into a serious, committed relationship with her, she's going to use one of these threats. And I'm, go I'm the one that's going to get the short end of the stick. I'm the one that's going to be sorry. And you don't want to be the one caught up. Because it's unfair to the brothers. Especially the brothers that are looking to be honestly be in relationships. And you're coming into it with honest intentions. A bait and switch is never a good thing. And nothing that anybody should have to truly worry about or endure. So now we got the tools. Remember what I told you, the A-game family over here on the Crimson Cure channel, we got the cure over here. We have the solutions over here to the issues that have been plaguing us forever. Okay? All right. So what I want everybody to do is sound off in the comment section. Is this a good plan to avoid the bait and switch? Because women are out there. These genetically modified females, shout out to Danica. These, they out here being genetically modified. They're trying to modify you. They out here scheming, scamming, and doing everything that they can to get you to drop your guard. So you would just give them the four P's and they don't have to give you nothing. That's what they're trying to do. So you got to be on your guard. You got to be careful. Okay. Not to let these, uh, just because she a quote unquote baddie, now she can have anything. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Just because you a baddie don't mean you can have anything. Knock it off. Can't just have anything. All right. You can have this vetting process, which you can have. Okay. All right, so sound off in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. We are closing in on 10,000, and I cannot wait. I thank you so much, all of you, for your support. Help us get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm the Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.